Hey guys, this is Nick News.com and the GamerAccess.com bringing you my review of Little Big Planet. This is easily one of the most hyped games for the PS3, and it had a rough launch with the. I'm sure, if you guys don't know, the delay because of the quarantine and stuff. Although I was lucky enough to get my copy a week before most people did because I was able to get the recalled version. So, but the game's out. You can go pick it up from stores now. So. Time to have fun. Right now, I'm using the Kratos Sack Boy. Looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, there's they have some on the downloadable store. They have that on the store right now. You can create your own. It is crazy. This game is unbelievable. All right, this is what's called the Pod. Go ahead and use it. And the levels people are creating already, and the game hasn't even been out a month, is ridiculous. Like one, I really want to show you guys is I'm sure you guys have seen the um, trailer. For Mirror's Edge, there's also a demo out for it. Go try that game. It's freaking amazing. There's here is a um a level song created in Little Big Planet from the little um Mirror's Edge trailer. Check this out. This is in Little Big Planet. I'm controlling my sack boy going through this Mirror's Edge level. Go these steps. Oh shoot. Just like in Mirror's Edge, it's going to get in the way. I'm going to make this jump. Right under there. The physics are amazing. Truly amazing. How things move in a... Oh, it is just truly amazing. I don't see, they did, Media Molecule did an amazing job on this. And I don't know if you guys didn't know, knew this or not, but uh, MotorStorm was actually... I mean, um... Little Big Planet actually was not going to be a PS3 exclusive. They actually, Media Molecule went to Microsoft first. Said, do you want this? Microsoft said they didn't like it. Then they went to Sony, and they said they wanted it. So, Sony's on it now, and I'm glad they got it. Now, check this out. Little Leap of Faith. Ooh, and he got it. And that's the level for Mirror's Edge. That is truly amazing. That's just one example of what this people can do with this game. And building this level would not... It's, they obviously spent a lot of time with it, but it would not would have been too difficult. Not would have been too difficult at all. Because they give you good tools, it's pretty easy to build. It's it's very nice. This game, if you're one of those people, I know there's a ton of you guys out there that are like, oh, I want to get in the video game business. I want to um, create games and stuff. This is your game. You create a level good enough, you might get um, solved by the developers and they might hire you. So, this is the game for you. And then after you create each level, you can rate it out of five stars. And that's pretty nice. So, I'm going to obviously give this game a four. This level four is really nice. It wasn't the most amazing thing I've seen, but it's really cool. And the stuff people are creating is just, I'm telling you, is crazy. I'll show you guys a couple more levels. Um, Let me see which ones I thought were crazy. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this show. If you haven't, it's on G4 TV. It's called Ninja Warrior. It's a, cool, it's a weird show. It's one of those Japanese shows where the Japanese people do all these obstacle stuff. Someone created that in Little Big Planet. And this was released during the beta. I was in the beta and this came out. Same with the Mirror's Edge. Check this junk out. If you watch freaking Ninja Warrior, this looks very similar. This is in Little Big Planet. Playing these levels for free, not ha it's awesome. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to burn. Oh, <laughs> but um, yeah, the game is truly amazing. Must buy for anyone. It's a game of all ages. If you're two, you'll like this game. If you're 15, you'll like this game. And if you're fi 50, you'll like this game. It is a game for all ages. Let's go up here. And something I think is really crazy is the community level. This is a community game to the max. And what I mean by that is that there's, um, like, say you beat a trophy. I mean, beat a level. That person that created the level can make an option where you can actually get a certain item. Like, there's one of those levels I discussed on podcast a couple of weeks back where someone did a um, PS3 versus 360 level and you blew up a 360 for the Red Ring of Death or whatever. And it's definitely fanboys. This game is loaded with fanboy stuff levels, but it doesn't overtake it. And you get a PS3 in the end, and you can actually use that to build your next level, which is really cool. And then you can also play with up to 
I believe, four people. So you can play through these levels with up to four people, which is tr is really fun. It's talk with people, play through these levels. It is fun. And then, um, so it's not out yet, but something that is coming soon is um, you're going to be able to, with up to four, three friends, so four total, you'll be able to create a level together. That is, it hasn't, um, came out yet, but I know they're working on that. I personally know that. And then, um, so that's going to be really cool. So this game is truly amazing. The physics, the, the graphics are Pixar quality. It looks really good for what it is. It looks really good. It gets you into it. And the sack boy, you can't help but fall in love with these sack boys. It's fun to play around with them. Really fun. So this game definitely lives up to the hype. I, it's a must buy. Like I said, it is a must buy. You have to go get this game. It is, like I said, for game of the year, it's very hard with all these games coming out. I think this game. Does, between this and Resistance 2, these are the two games that I think deserve Game of the Year. Either one of these. Gears of War 2, I've played. It's very good. But it doesn't have the originality, the new technology these games have. It's truly amazing. So, this is my review of Little Big Planet. If I had to give a score out of a 10, it deserves a 9.7. And the only reason why it doesn't deserve a 10... Because sometimes, well, c the controls get get kind of, me not messed up, but they get in your way. And they get a lot of time to get adjusted to. And, like, sometimes you'll try to jump back, but you actually jump forward, you end up killing your sack boy. Just little stuff like that. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just very strict when it comes to my games. Because I do not give a game a 10. There's not been a game that deserves a 10 to me. Because 10 out of 10 is perfect. And there's not a single game that's came out that's perfect. So this is my review of Little Big Planet. Be sure to check out my review of Resistance 2 and Motorstorm 2. I'll hit you guys up later and be sure to um, check out the website at thegameraccess.com. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.